Hello everybody and welcome to Coco and Sage, Coco and Sage's first ASMR video. I have never recorded a YouTube video before, aside from one time in elementary school, and it wasn't even me making the video, I was just in the video with my two besties. Aside from that, I've never recorded a YouTube video before, so this will not only be my first ASMR video, but my first video in general, aside from whatever I post on my Instagram account and whatnot. Coco and Sage are my two rescue puppies, puppies, puppies. Coco is definitely not a puppy. She is she has been 25 years old for the past five years. Um, she is a rat terrier mix that my family rescued when I was four from our local animal shelter. And this is our channel. It's going to be our channel. Um, when we got her, her paper said that she was seven years old, and I am now 20, 21. Um, so you can do the math. They also told us, one of the um, workers at the shelter told us that she's likely a little bit older than seven she could be anywhere between because they don't know her exact age that she could be anywhere between five and ten when we adopted her and that's the whole reason why my mom wanted to adopt her is because she was already fully grown and she or we like to give um the dogs a chance that are less likely to get adopted um so seven was just like an average estimate for them and let me tell you, I would not be surprised if she was actually the oldest dog on the planet um, because she looks nothing like the way she used to look when we first got her. Like, she's completely different from her color to her size, everything, her shape. She's literally, I don't know how, she's still walking, she's still barking, she's still running, but I'm not going to question it because... I am definitely grateful. So, this channel is in honor of her, my bestie, my life companion. Aside from, of course, the other one, Sage, who's a newer addition to the family, as well as my two big ponies, big ponies, horses. Hopefully they will be joining us on this channel one day, one day. Never seen anyone make ASMR with horses before, but does not mean it cannot be done. But today, we are going to be, we are going to be reading about the Rat Terrier. I guess I will be reading about the rat terrier because Coco is, Coco is, she's, she's cozied, she's cozied, cozied up. Coco? I'm cozied? So, my little, my little rat, my little rat. Terriers. Or chihuahuas. You can be a chihuahua if you want to. Because Sage is a chihuahua. 
And I'm pretty sure if Coco's mixed with, with anything, it would be a chihuahua. So. The Rat Terrier. Let's scroll up here. I'm reading directly off of Wikipedia. Wikipedia. The Rat Terrier is an American dog breed with a background, background, background as a farm dog and hunting companion. They share much ancestry with the small hunting dogs known as vice. I don't know if that's feists or feasts, but it's spelled like feists. If you're like reading it like from a Germanic language point of view. Common throughout family farms in the 1920s and 1930s, they are now recognized by the United and American Kennel Clubs and are considered a rare breed. Rat Terriers are an intelligent and active breed that can be kept both for pest control and as a family pet. Coco has a very rich history with chasing after things that do not need to be chased after. But, in her defense, quite literally in her her DNA, and she thought that it was her duty, so we're not mad at it. Okay, so that was the brief background, the appearance of the Rat Terrier. The Rat Terrier ranges from about 10 to 25 pounds, or 4.5 to 11.3 kilograms stands 10 to 18 inches or 25 to 46 centimeters at the shoulder 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 the miniature size 13 inches and under as defined by the UKC has become more popular as a house pet and companion dog but the miniature is still a hunting dog The standard says small to medium and the miniature is small enough to go in and under those places where vermin like to hide. A larger strain, often in excess of 25 pounds, has developed. Called the Decker or Decker Giant, it was named after breeder Milton Decker who created a larger hunting companion and are recognized by the National Rat Terrier Association, UKC and AK UKC and AKC do not recognize the Decker strain as another breed. They are merely considered a standard variety. The National Rat Terrier Association recognizes a toy variety weighing 10 pounds or less. This is what Coco would be considered as, even though, as any of you who are familiar with the Rat Terriers um, can probably tell, she would not be recognized by the UKC or the AKC because you can just tell. Um, I mean, you can't see her markings or her original like bone structure at all because she is so so old but her face used to be black and brown black and tan actually the national rat terrier association continues to classify the teddy roosevelt terrier as the type b rat terrier
in the 1970s, a hairless mutation appeared in a single rat terrier and was propagated into a strain of the rat terrier. After a period of development, this line resulted in the American Hairless Terrier, recognized as a separate breed by several registries. The Rat Terrier comes in a variety of coat colors. The classic coloring is black, tan point with piebald spotting, known as black tricolor. A chocolate, tan, blue, Isabella or pearl, lemon and apricot are all fairly common. They may be tricolor or bicolor, always with some amount of white present. Sable may overlay any of these colors. Creeping tan, often called calico, is also acceptable. Ticking is usually visible in the white parts of the coat or in the underlying skin. Brindle, currently disallowed by the main breed standards, is also considered by some to be a traditional rat terrier pattern, and there is a growing movement to have this pattern accepted into the breed. However, Merle is widely considered to be the result of recent outcrosses and because of associated health problems is rejected by most rat terrier breeders. Ear carriage is erect but can also be tipped or buttoned, all of which contribute to an intelligent, alert expression. The tail has been traditionally docked to about 2 to 3 inches. Coco does not have her tail docked. We do not believe in such things. But the bobtail gene is very common in rat terriers and can result in a variety of tail lengths. Today, some breeders prefer a natural, undocked tail which is accepted in the breed standards. Rat terriers tend to be both intelligent and stubborn, knowing how to get what they want when they want it. This is very, very true, I can assure you. They are also considered good family pets because of their energy and compatibility with kids. They are playful and require much exercise. Also true. The social sensitivity of rat terriers makes them very trainable and easier to live with for the average pet owner, but it also means that extensive socialization from an early age is critical. Proper socialization of a rat terrier puppy includes exposing the animal to a wide variety of people and places particularly during the first three months of life. There's actually a picture in the Wikipedia page right here of a 16-year-old rat terrier that looks almost just like her. Like most active and intelligent breeds, rat terriers tend to be happier when they receive a great deal of mental stimulation and exercise. Rat terriers are usually loyal to their owners and are very respectful if they receive the proper amount of training at a young age. I got some of her hair in my nose. Got some of her hair in my nose. I think you have some too. I got it for you. Don't worry. I got it. 
Due to regular outcrossings throughout the Rat Terrier's history, overall it is a very hardy breed. However, with its growth in popularity in recent years, some issues are becoming more common. The Canine Health Information Center recommends that rat terriers be tested for patellar luxation, cardiac abnormalities, pancreatic issues, hip dysplasia, and leg calvi perthes syndrome. Coco does in fact have hip dysplasia in both, in both of her hind legs. But, 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 but. it is all good. We give her, Coco has her medicine, and she is not in any pain, pain, pain. She also has bacon, 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 bacon flavored CBD. CBD. That was recommended to us that actually helps her a lot. A little too. The average lifespan of a well-bred rat terrier is 16 to 19 years. Well, there you go, Coco. You're not that much older than a healthy rat terrier. The earliest known record of a rat catching dog is that of Hatch, whose remains were recovered from the Mary Rose, the flagship of Henry the five, six, seven, eight. Sorry guys, I don't, I, I never, I, okay, this is actually a really funny side note. When I was in middle school, during the time that in, in fifth grade specifically, the entire time that we were learning about Roman numerals, I was very much ill with something that was not one of those 24 hour bugs. I was literally ill for however many days it took for them to learn about Roman numerals. And when I came back, there was a quiz. The day that I came back, there was a quiz about Roman numerals, and I just assumed, I was like, girl, I got this, Roman numerals, I be playing Assassin's Creed, I be watching movies, I can read Roman numerals. Never learned how to read Roman numerals, I mean, like, I can read them, but not like, oh, I look at that and I'm like, I know what number that is. But anyway, the flagship of Henry VIII sunk in 1545 and re-raised in 1982. Hatch is thought to have been a mongrel and was brought on board to control the rat population. The breed names the breed name comes from the occupation of its earliest ancestors brought to the United States by working class British migrants, as the dogs were used in rat baiting. However, they were, for the most part, bred for speed. Their speed is used for controlling vermin and hunting small game, such as squirrels and hares. A moment, I need to adjust my position because my back hurts. As the breed type became popular in the United States, they were bred with beagles, Italian greyhounds, and Manchester terriers. Many of the foundation rat terriers were indistinguishable from small mixed breed hunting dogs known as feists. The smaller varieties diverged from the rat terrier line very early on, with UKC registration for the toy fox terrier beginning in 1936. 
my refrigerator just turned on. It's making that horrid buzzing sound. Any of you guys have... I think it's Samsung. Samsung mini refrigerator. That, like, one fridge that everybody has in their dorm room. It makes a horrible sound. Terriers were cherished as loyal hunting companions and efficient killers of vermin on 20th century American farms. As a result, they were one of the most popular dog types from the 1920s to the 1940s. However, the widespread use of chemical pesticides and the growth of commercial farming led to a sharp decline in the breed from the 1950s onwards. Breed loyalists maintained the bloodline, leading to the modern rat terrier. The genetic diversity of the rat terrier has contributed to the overall health, keen intelligence, and soundness of the breed. Most modern breeds were developed from a few founding dogs, and then propagated from a closed gene pool. In contrast, the Rat Terrier has benefited from a long history of refinement, regular outcrosses to bring in useful qualities and genetic variability. This is really interesting because with horses, I mean, obviously, to a certain degree, it's the same with dogs, of course, and every living animal. Like, the breeding is so, so strict. But, like, a lot of, um, for example, the horses that I have, um, Pura Raza Espanolas, they, their bloodlines are completely untouched since, like, King Philip times. Where did I leave off? In current times, the Rat Terrier is becoming popular not only as a family pet, but as a working dog in several fields. Their affectionate, 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 and calm temperament, along with small size, has made them popular as service dogs in hospice, treatment for depression, in assisted living, and other human care jobs. I don't think she liked that sound. Police departments have started using them as contraband, 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 contraband search dogs, as their intelligence level shortens training to as little as three weeks, which is much shorter than that for traditional police service breeds. Also, their small size allows search of cars homes, and prison cells without causing a major damage a large German Shepherd or other traditional police service breed would do during a car search and lessening the chances of major financial settlements if there's nothing found during a search. I think she wants something. One source claims that a single terrier killed 2,501 rats in a seven-hour period in a rat-infested barn, an average of one rat every 10 seconds. That source is not cited. It's, um, oh wait, actually, yes it is, but that was a very vague <laughs> Okay, I think it's just a book about rat terriers.
I'm curious to see what the Decker Giant looks like. Should we look it up? Should we look it up? Look it up. Come on. God, Jesus Christ. Guys, I think you should look up the Decker Giant. It just looks messed up. I mean, it's cute, but damn, it's scary. It's like, you know how, like, those, there's a lot of, like, big dog breeds? Big dog breeds? That have mini versions, and you're like, oh my god, that looks kind of funny, it's a mini version of a big dog. But imagine a big version of a mini dog. That's what that looks like. Okay. The last, last section, the last section to finish up is breed recognition. The most boring section, in my opinion. Rat Terrier organizations exhibit the typical disputes over the course of action to be taken for the promotion and preservation of the breed. Is that comfortable, Coco? Is it? As usual among working breeds, points of departure are which dog type best represents the breed and whether the dog's working qualities will be sacrificed to selection for confirmation show competition. The Rat Terrier Club of America is the official breed parent club for the American Kennel Club. Rat Terriers were accepted into the AKC's Terrier Group June 2012. Rat Terriers have been competing in the United Kennel Club events for over 15 years. UKC is a family-friendly group that promotes many different venues for dogs to compete. The National Rat Terrier Association is the largest independent registry and has maintained lineage records for decades. Feeling the working terrier nature of, breed, of the breed will suffer, it is the most prominent of those clubs and associations opposed to Kennel Club Closed Registry Breeding Rules. The Decker Hunting Terrier Registry was created specifically for the Decker Giant. This registry's mission is to keep all the qualities that set the Decker aside from the standard Rat Terrier, while retaining and improving upon the hunting ability. The UKC officially recognized the breed on January 1, 1999. The AKC recognized the Rat Terrier as a breed on July 1, 2010. However, it allowed them to compete in companion events beginning January 1, 2006, in sanctioned AKC companion events. The first Rat Terrier to earn a title under the American Kennel Club sanctioning was in Agility on January 14, 2006 in Van Nuys, California. By Harper's Terrier, by Harper's Giddy Up, GG, and D. Davidson Harper. I didn't think dog names would be any weirder than horse names, but. The American Kennel Club accepted the Rat Terrier into the Terrier Group in June 2012. The first AKC compa companion, the first. AKC Champion Rat Terrier was Annie. Guys, I don't know what this says, but I'm going to read it because in case it's interesting. Um, Annie, GCH, GRCH, King Pen, R&B's, Queen Anne, Bread. Owned by Sherry and Dudley Hendricks of Modesto, California. I'm not- I don't know what all of those letters mean. I'm not a dog, like, breed person, so I don't know, like, anything about, like, the formal world of dog breeds. 
um, she definitely needs to go outside, but it's good timing though because I am out of time today, today, today. But I hope that you guys found that interesting and um, were able to relax for that video, listen to it for background noise, study, whatever. Um, and hopefully we can meet the big chihuahua. The big chihuahua, the big chihuahua in the next video. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.